Hello friends, what's up? How you doing? Welcome back for another video. I am very excited. So I just was looking through our channel, looking at old videos, um, and I was kind of looking at when I did book reviews and I remembered how much fun I had doing that, like talking about books, having individual videos about books. And so I think I wanna start that up again and that is kind of what today is. I'm very, very excited about it. Dossie, are you excited about it? Do you see yourself? <laughs> he seems unsure. Um, so yeah, welcome to my latest book video. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're doing well. Let's get into it. So the truth is I have not been reading a ton this year. Um, it's just part of life. Sometimes you go through, you know, times when you read less, times when you read more. I usually am focused on him, so I don't read, and then I don't know what it is, I just haven't had the motivation to read when I'm not, <laughs> you know, focused on him lately. Um, but I've read a few good books this year, I think I'm at book like 15, um, and I recently read a short story collection, um, which is not what this video is about, but that sort of brought me out of my slump, they always tend to do that, and then, my friends, I read this beautiful, beautiful book. It is called Rolling Hills and the Lost Key to Peachtree Palace, and it is by Michaela Horan, and I recommend that you run, don't walk, run to your nearest bookseller, website, and or store, unless it's the middle of the night, in which case I don't recommend doing that unless you're gonna shop online, um, to get this book. You have to read this book. It is beautiful. Um, this book is so well written. You know those books that sometimes they're just lighthearted and magical. And yes, you know, they've got their plots, they've got their villains and stuff, and that part is thrilling. But this book was amazing. Um, I loved the plot. I loved that, you know, it wasn't... While, you know, they were fighting a villain and everything, it wasn't filled with, like, snarkiness. There wasn't a ton of, like crazy things that I feel like just kind of fills a lot of books today and I really like that it was very very refreshing um Michaela is a brilliant writer the words the way she portrays the story it's so magical um and yeah it's I'm trying to find the words because I love this book so much and I want, you know, everybody to understand how great this book is, how beautiful this book is. This book is like one of those gems that like when you're feeling overwhelmed by like other books but you, you know, you don't know what to choose, you don't know what to do, you could read it and it sort of gives you like a warmth in your soul and your heart and it was amazing. I was so happy to read it and also look at this cover, is that not beautiful? Is that not beautiful? Is that not beautiful? It's beautiful. Are you eating candy? You keep catching me with crackers in my mouth. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah. But the main part, my favorite part, I'm gonna get to it here in a second, um, was the world building. This magical world they live in, She, it was beautiful and enchanting. And I always like when there's a beautiful, like, enchanting sort of magical world building um in a book i think that's the right term i apologize i am not nearly as educated as some of my friends on bookstagram and i do not consider myself a booktuber because well i am not as smart as those guys either those people are incredibly talented i take my hat off to all of them <laughs> um and i believe Michaela's actually a booktuber herself um, I love her Instagram page. It's light and whimsical. Um, but actually the reason I discovered this book was one of my bookstagram friends posted this and I wound up following Michaela because I liked her page and then I read this book and I like, I was like, I have to check this book out. So what I do generally do is I take screenshots and I move on, uh, and I put those on my wish list once I look into them or I look into them and I see, oh, is this something I'd like to read? Is this something I'm not? I'm getting off track. Hold on. I'm, I gotta catch my breath. <sighs> so entranced by something. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
We're talking about how Dossie is very, very entertained by his fingers. That's his new thing. He likes to grab his fingers like that and stare at them. Yeah, but the best part was, like, I was trying not to chuckle because she was talking. Right now, he's sitting like this, but a minute ago, he was like... <laughs> so mesmerized by his phalanges. Anyways, so the world building was my favorite part, and I think that's part of why it helped me out of my reading slump so much. Um, it was so good. I'm not gonna lie, towards the end, I was like so into it. I was like, this is a great book. I love what's going on. And I was reading it so hard, I forgot everything I read and I had to go back. Have you ever done that? Because... I'm embarrassed to say I've done it many, many times. Um, but I loved this book. And it says one, implying it's a series. I really hope there's more. Um, Michaela, if you happen to watch this, hook a girl up, as well as your other fans. Um, but yeah. Anyways, so thinking about the world building and kind of how magical that felt, it kind of made me think that I want to spend some time, um, talking about how magical books are I think for me if you're a book reader you know this books are magical they take you to other worlds they inspire you they warm your heart or they make you really hate mythical characters or you fall in love with book boyfriends or girlfriends whomever you prefer um and there's just something about books and i'm really grateful that i was able to discover books in life um because they're just so incredible um and i think in each of us we all have that one thing that does that for us and sometimes it's hard sometimes you lose track of it sometimes you know life goes on you get busy but like every once in a while you just gotta stop give yourself the gift of remembering that thing that you love um and for me that's books and i am so beyond grateful that i've been able to have books in my life that i get to read so many amazing stories that this one puts up with how many books i have um and yeah <laughs> I had way more to say on this, but I just... Yeah. If you have something in your life that's like that for you, um, if it's like your, like one, your tr true non-personic love, you should pursue it. Pursue it with all your heart. Let yourself have that. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> My shoulder's blocking him, so I see you, like, I'm giving this heartfelt speech, and I look behind me, and I just see... I'm sorry, I'm so missing him. Darcy, your daddy's a weirdo. Sorry. Okay. Anyways. But, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes, you just gotta take a step back, gotta remember the thing that you love. If you choose to pursue it as a career, sometimes you need to just... Spend a little time with it, enjoying it for yourself, you know, and I hope whatever your passion is in life, I hope that you get the chance to just pursue it because it's great to have something that you love like that. It's great to have a passion. It's great to feel a magic. And if you haven't found your magic, just wait. I know for a fact yours is out there. You will get there. Darcy knows you will get there. <laughs> and yeah. I realize this wasn't much of a talk, but I'm hoping as time goes on I get a little bit better at the book talks. Um, the truth is I fully intended to film this video tomorrow, but I finished the book and I was like, I gotta film this now. I can't wait. He's mocking me. But you know what, yeah, I'm gonna fresh. love. It's fresh in your mind, you just finished it. That's the best thing. But yeah. So all that being said, thank you guys if you tuned in. Um, if you'd like me to try some certain books, please let me know. Um, there is no rhyme or reason to me um, what books I do stuff on and or what books I film videos on and what books I don't. Generally, every book I read makes an appearance in a vlog, but an individual video 
it depends. If I don't enjoy a book, there's a very good chance you're not going to see a review or a book talk on it. Um, but that's okay. And, yeah, I'm just here because I love books. <laughs> and I hope that by describing these books, I can uh, inspire someone else. I hope that someone out there feels like, oh, hey, this girl loves books like I do. That, you know, friends, that's why they call me the book dragon. They being me and occasionally my husband, but beyond that, not many. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. I hope you guys are all well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.